Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this early sunrise yoga. So this is meant for us to do in the mornings right when we wake up to stretch out the body and do a little strength training just to get that day started on its best note. So all you need today is your yoga mat and yourself. And we will start on our knees in a child's pose. So extending the arms out in front of us, reaching long, breathing deeply. And the goal of this practice is to stay committed, stay focused. Because it's so early in the morning, we've got a fresh mind to work with. So we've got no distractions or very little distraction. So let's take that with us onto the mat and really focus our attention on our practice. So making our way all the way down, extended child's pose. And starting to connect with the breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Press all 10 fingers and knuckles into the mat as we lift up. And we'll jump right in today. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees below the hips. We'll take some cat cows. So dropping the belly, gaze lifts, and we'll curve and exhale. Dropping, inhale, lift. Exhale. I'm just taking this at our own pace this morning. Really opening up the front of the body and the back of the body. And continuing with this, maybe allowing the eyes to close, finding even greater mobility in the spine. And then we can start drawing circles. So rib cage going to the right, lifting up, left, and dropping down. So working through that spine, allowing the head to come along for the ride. And we'll switch directions. Rib cage going to the left, up, right, and down. really taking it upon ourselves to go as far as we want to. Really warming up that spine. All right, we'll come back to center. Tuck the toes. And we'll stretch those knees coming into a plank pose. So engaging the core. We'll drop the knees, 
and roll down to a sphinx pose. So elbows come below the shoulders, pressing down. We'll start by engaging the core here. So feeling that little triangle of elbow to shoulder to abdominals and really engaging the core. We'll tuck the toes, keeping that core engaged and come up to our forearm plank. Squeezing elbows to toes. We'll point that right foot behind us. So lifting off the mat, bending that knee, and drawing a line all the way over, coming into the outer edge of the left foot. And we'll reach the right arm up into this variation on wild day. We'll bend that elbow palm, pace facing the sky, and we'll stack the feet for a quick second of the side plank, and easily make our way back. Forearm plank, dropping the hips, sphinx. We'll lift the hips up, take it on the other side, engage that core. Left foot points out and lifts. We bend the left knee, coming to the outer edge of the right foot, and take our variation on wild thing. We'll bend this elbow in, palm facing the sky, and we'll stack the feet, taking a side plank. And on an exhale, coming back to our forearm plank and dropping the hips down, six. From here, we can take a neck roll, turning the chin to the right side, dropping it down to the left. And then from the left, dropping it down to the right. We'll take that once more, dropping the chin down and dropping it down. Nice, come back to center. We'll lower everything down, pressing the hands underneath the shoulders, lifting all the way up to all fours, and then pressing up and back, downward facing dog. I'm taking this time to walk one heel, and then the other. Opening up those hamstrings. We'll stay here for three more breaths. Pressing down through all 10 fingers and knuckles, we'll bend the knees, lifting the heels, gaze looks forward, and we'll step all the way up, forward fold, feet hip width distance apart. I'm allowing a red doll here, so grabbing opposite elbow, allowing the head and upper body to rock from side to side. We'll release the arms, press it into all four corners of the feet as we rise to stand. Mountain pose, taking your time. Palms shining forward. 
standing up nice and tall. And in this mountain pose, thinking of pressing all four corners down of the feet and the legs inwardly rotating. We'll inhale, arms reach up. Big inhale, palms draw together at the heart. Namaste, good morning. Big inhale and exhale. Let's reach the arms down again. And exhale, we'll fold over. Lifting up halfway, flattening that spine. And lower down, we'll plant the hands, stepping one foot back from the other, finding this plank pose. Looking forward, we'll roll all the way down, elbows coming into the side body. We'll press up Cobra. And make our way back, downward facing dog. Taking our morning sun salutations to welcome the day, we'll bend our knees, looking forward and make our way back to standing forward fold. Lifting up halfway, flat back. Plant the hands and we'll lift all the way up to stand. Hands come together at the heart. Inhale, big reach up and out. And exhale, dive over. Inhale, lifting up halfway. And exhale, hands come down, we'll step it back, plank pose. And we'll lower down to our bellies. Inhale, lifting up Cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Bending the knees, looking forward. We'll step our hop the way back to our forward fold, lifting up flat back. Exhale, hands come down and pressing down as we rise up to stand. Hands come together at the heart. Big inhale here. And exhale. Last time, inhale, arms reach out wide and high. We exhale to fold. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Maybe lifting the toes this time. And exhale, hands plant. We'll set it back to our plank. Hands underneath the shoulders. We'll lower down to the belly. Lifting up, cobra. And coming back, downward facing dog. We'll take two breaths here. Feeling that warmth. We'll roll forward to our plank pose. And we'll lower all the way down to the belly. Releasing the toes. We'll take one cobra here. So pressing the hands down, engaging the back, shoulders pressing, elbows staying bent. And we'll lower down. This time we'll take our locust pose. So arms reaching out in front of us. And we'll lift the arms and the legs. Just expanding. Engaging that back. One more inhale here and exhale to lower down. Nice. Let's take one more round of that. So extending the arms, extending the legs, locust pose, inhaling to lift. And we'll exhale to come down. And for this last set, of our back bends. Let's kick our heels in towards our glutes. 
reach the arms back. And we'll take this pretty easy, so don't pull or push this early in the morning. And we'll start to press the feet into the hands as we lift up into our bow pose. So we don't want to go too far, just trying to work through the back. And we'll lower down, release those feet, press the hands underneath our shoulders, lift up, and keep the hands where they are as we sit back, taking our puppy posture. Hips in line with knees, arms reaching out nice and far. We'll press into the hands as we lift up, walking the hands back a couple inches to make our way to downward facing dog. So hips lifting up high here, keeping those knees bent a little bit. We'll inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Pinky toe turning down. And we'll exhale, step it all the way through, taking our low lunge, back knee drops. We're gonna swivel that left leg in line with the shorter edge of the yoga mat. So swiveling it, coming into our gate pose, and we'll lift both arms up. So prep for our warrior two. And we'll reach that right arm down to the inside of the right foot. Left arm reaches high. And we always have the option to bring right elbow down. Nice. Using the core, we'll lift back up. We'll swivel these right toes in and straighten that leg nice and long. And then we'll take a free fall all the way back, reaching the right arm up and over. And then if we wanna test our balance here, we can try to lift that right leg off the mat for a quick second, engaging the core. And lowering it back down. We'll lift all the way back up, squeezing, and take our reverse. Right hand down, left arm up. Back to center. We'll reach both arms down. Hands coming underneath the shoulders in kind of a all fours variation. We're gonna reach the left arm high and we'll fold, threading it through. Left shoulder comes down as far as we can go. And then if we're close enough, we can grab a hold with our peace fingers of those right big toes. We'll release the toes if we have them. Unwind, coming back to all fours, gate variation. And we'll walk our way back to the front of the mat, coming to our low lunge once again, being gentle on that back knee. And we'll tug the hips back, taking our half splits, our Tahanaman. Stretching that front leg, 
right toes flexing up toward the face. Let's take an inhale as we look forward and exhale to roll forward. Planting the hands, tucking the back toes. We'll step it back and take our vinyasa, lowering down to the belly and taking our back bend. Lifting up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Stepping it up and through, low lunge, dropping the back knee. Finding length in the spine. And we'll swivel that right leg in line with the shorter edge of the yoga mat. Coming into our gait variation, arms reach out to the side. Left arm reaches down to the inside of the left foot or left elbow to knee, and we'll reach all the way up, opening the body. Inhale to lift back up using the core, arms to the side. We'll turn that left foot parallel, stretching the knee as we free fall backwards toward the back of the mat, hand resting down, left arm reaching. And if we did it on the first side, shifting the weight out of that left leg and maybe lifting it off the mat a few inches. Lowering it down if it was up. And then again, using that core to lift all the way back up. Taking our reverse, left hand rests on the leg. Right arm reaches up and back. Lifting back up. We'll reach both hands down to come to all fours with that leg extended. Right arm reaches up. And we'll thread it through, right shoulder coming down to the mat. And once again from here, if you would like to grab a hold of that left big toe with the peace fingers, that's an option. If we're holding on to that toe, release it and make your way back to this all fours position. We'll start to walk our way back to our low lunge, being easy on that back knee as we shift it. And then we'll tug the hips back, half splits, Ardha Hanuman. Inhaling to look forward and exhale to roll back to our low lunge, planting the hands. We'll step it back, taking our vinyasa, lowering down, inhaling to lift up and exhale, press it up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale. 
Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it up and through. Let's drop that back knee, coming into our low lunge. I'm going to hug the hips back, half splits. Rolling forward. We'll lift that back knee off the mat. Maybe shifting that foot in slightly, lifting up high lunge. Finding our balance. We'll lean both arms back as we send the heart forward. So engaging the backs of those arms, lifting up. Breathing here. We'll shift that back leg in just slightly, hands reaching for the ground as we stand on that right leg, standing splits. So trying to keep that left pinky toe pulling down. And we'll bend the right knee, stepping the left to meet it. We'll come to our chair pose, toes together, heels apart, arms lift up, hips sit down. We'll stretch the knees nice and slow, opening the arms to fold. Taking our vinyasa, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back. Maybe lowering through chaturanga this time. An upward dog. Or taking the same vinyasa from before. Wherever we are, we'll meet in downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. And exhale, step it through. Low lunge, taking our half splits, Ardha Hanuman. Rolling forward. Tucking that back toe, we'll lift it up, high lunge. Dropping the arms by our sides as we shift the heart forward. Feeling the triceps start to engage. We'll reach the arms down, stepping that back foot in just a couple of inches and taking our half, our standing splits. So it is early, so I know these standing splits won't be perfect. So just going as high as we feel comfortable to in this moment at this time. We'll bend that left knee, stepping the right to meet it, chair pose. Stretching the knees, nice and slow, we'll fold over. 
Taking our vinyasa. Inhaling to lift. We'll step it back. And lower down. Inhale to lift. And exhale. Make your way to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. This time, let's take the knee over to the left elbow, so crossing it over. Inhale to lift. Exhale, cross knee to opposite elbow. Inhale to lift. And exhale, knee to opposite elbow. From here, let's extend that right leg out, coming into our fallen triangle, reaching the left arm up, coming onto the inner blade or inner side of that left foot. Nice, we'll bring that left hand back down, pulling the knee back in, shifting it to the chest and stepping it up. We'll come into our high lunge. Hmm. Let's drop the arms, send the heart forward. Bending deeply into that front knee. And we'll start to shift our weight forward, coming into our warrior three. Virabhadrasana three. Arms still pressing up and back. Breathing deeply. Without letting that left foot touch the floor, we'll bring both knees in to the chest and come to stand. Let's take our standing pigeon crossing left ankle over right knee and we'll sit down and back, bringing the palms together. Left foot staying flexed. We'll unwind, lifting that left knee back into the chest, grabbing the left knee with the right hand, and just taking a twist. So knee coming toward the midline as we twist away from it. Just a quick moment here, finding something to look at. And then we'll send that leg back, keeping it bent. Grab it for our dancer pose. Reaching the right arm up and forward. Lifting, pressing foot into hand. Breathing here for one more round of breath. And release that leg down. We'll take our chair pose. Stretching knees and we'll fold, taking our vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. And as we exhale, we'll bend that knee toward the right side. And inhale to lift. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Last time, inhale to lift. Knee to right elbow. 
We'll slide that left foot out, ball and triangle. Right arm reaches up. Right hand comes back down. We'll pull that knee back into the chest and step it up, coming into our high lunge. You may have to shift your back foot in slightly. We'll drop the arms and send the heart forward. We'll start to shift the weight into that left foot as we lift off warrior three. Focusing. Two more breaths here, keeping the breathing slow and steady. Without letting that right foot touch the ground, like I just did, we'll bend both knees and roll to stand. Taking our standing pigeon, crossing right ankle over left knee, and we'll sit the hips back. And always feel free if you want to go further to drop those hands down to the floor. I always say uh, it feels a lot better on my hip and I feel like it tests my balance. One more breath here. And we'll unwind lifting that right knee into the chest. We'll grab it with the left hands and open up to the right side. Right arm reaches back. And it's okay if you feel a little bit wobbly. I do too. And we'll shift releasing that knee, grabbing a hold of that same leg, the foot, coming into our dancer pose. Pressing foot into hand. Ooh, I'm all over the place with balance today. Ooh. One more breath here. And release that leg coming to our chair pose. Should feel like a nice release in that leg. And straighten the legs, forward fold. Take our vinyasa. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling, we'll step it back. Inhale to lower. We'll make it back to our downward facing dog. Walk it out. We'll inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, step it all the way through. We'll come into our warrior one. So Virabhadrasana one, dropping that back foot flat on the mat, pointing the toes out to the upper left corner as we lift the arms up. Let's shift to warrior two, opening that back leg out. We'll stretch the front leg and reach both arms forward, tilting the hips back and then sliding that right hand down the shin, left arm reaching high.
Trikonasana, triangle pose. So leaning that upper body really far back. Then using the arms and the core, we'll lift up out of the feet, lifting up, keeping the legs straight, swivel the right leg to be parallel, and we'll take our forward fold, nice wide legs. Walking the hands over to the right leg, shifting both feet back to our low lunge. We'll plant the hands and step it back, take our flow. Lowering down, inhale to lift, exhale to press it back. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it up. We'll take our warrior one. So dropping that back foot down, toe pointing to the front right corner, and we lift the arms up. We'll open up, warrior two. Maybe sending that right leg back. We'll stretch both knees, reaching that left arm forward, hips pulling back as we slide the left hand down, the left shin, opening the right arm up. Really paying attention to the breath, keeping it steady, letting it help. Using the core, we'll lift all the way up, straight legs. Swivel those left toes parallel. And this time let's interlace our fingers behind our back, sending the knuckles down as we open the chest and fold over, letting the knuckles pull up toward the sky. One more breath here. And exhale, release those hands nice and gentle. We'll shift toward the left leg this time, coming back to our lunge. And this time, let's step that back foot up to meet the left. Heel toe the feet wide, and let's come into our Malasana yoga squat. So sitting the hips down, nice long spine, elbows pressing into knees. One more breath here. And we'll plant the hands, stepping one foot back from the other. This will be our last chance for Chaturanga if we've been doing that. Lower down and lift all the way back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. 
We'll bend that knee, open the hip. We're gonna go into our full wild thing. So letting that right foot gently drop, planting the left foot down, reaching the right arm up to the front of the room. Let's lift all the way back and step that right foot all the way up, coming into our pigeon pose. Right knee behind right wrist. And for a second, let's just sit here. We have the option to either stay where we are or twist to the left, kicking that left foot up and just trying to grab a hold of that left foot. So using your other hand for balance, just taking a quad stretch here. Releasing that leg back down, nice and easy. We'll lift up and exhale to fold over. Lifting up, we'll press our hands down and step it back, downward facing dog. Taking a second to open that right knee back up. We'll take it on the other side, inhaling, left leg lifts. Bending the left knee, opening the hip. And really easy, we'll reach that left toe all the way down to the floor, taking our wild thing. Left arm reaching toward the front wall. Right leg reaching far away. We'll shift back, left knee comes in and up, pigeon pose. Taking a second to gather ourselves here. And we could stay here or twist to the right, kick that right leg up and reach for it with the right hand. Releasing it nice and gently. We'll swivel to the front, take an inhale, and lift up and over, folding. Press the hands down, 
start to lift up. And we'll step it back, downward facing dog. This is our last down dog. Really make it count. And we'll start to bend and lower the knees. Swiveling the legs around to the front. We'll roll down to our backs. Keeping the feet planted, knees up toward the sky. Let's take our bridge pose, so pressing the feet down. We'll lift the hips up, spine lifting inch by inch. And lower down, one vertebrae by the next. Once again, we'll press up, bridge. And lower. Last one, inhaling to press. And exhale, release. Knees come into the chest. We'll take a nice rock from side to side. And we can take a happy baby to open up those hips one last time. We'll bring the knees back to the chest, squeezing one last time before you release the legs down to Shavasana. Everything relaxing into the mat, into the earth. Taking this final moment of quiet stillness to reflect on the challenges, the successes. And then just let it all go and come into this moment, into this body. Let's inhale and send that energy down to your toes and fingers, waking the body back up. 
reaching the arms up overhead, taking one full body stretch. Rolling everything to the right and lifting nice and slow to comfortable seats. And then the seat resting the hands on the knees, keeping the eyes soft or closed. Taking this last moment in a seated meditation to just attend to the breath. Draw our hands together at the heart. Thank you all for practicing with me this morning and working hard through this challenging sunrise flow. I hope it gives you energy and keeps you calm throughout the day. Let's bring our thumbs to our third eye and bow. Namaste. Thank you.